hello everyone welcome back to a new video today i want to use the pumpkin coaster mode again and i just thought why not going with um, monochrome colors so i'm mixing here into my ultra cast resin a little bit of the resin ink and this is the onyx from octopus and i'm just making sure that i mix it very very well so you see my mixing process, I hope you don't mind, but sometimes I think it's it's nice for you to see. And now I'm mixing my pearl, and it's a pearl white, it's a mica, and I'm just mixing it into the other part of the resin. What I actually want to achieve is, I don't know if most of you remember, I did this multicolored one um, with the gold and copper at the edge, and I want to do this in silver. So I'm wondering how this is going to be with the silver edging, with the silver crackle effect. And yeah, that was it, on my head. That was what I wanted to do. And yeah, just let's wait and see if, if I will succeed. You see that I'm really mixing my colors very well, especially the micas. Sometimes also me... I'm not, uh, I'm not mixing it too, too good, but well. So here I'm mixing my glitter mix and the first glitter is the fine Halo, I think Halo Comet, 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 <laughs> oh, yo, yo, Petra, and the Puder from Laura's Art Corner. Uh, I thought towards a Puder color, which is a grayish, dark grayish um, color, I put some sparkle like the holographic effect in there. So I have a little bit of sparkle in the stems of my um, pumpkins. So this, um, yeah, this will be also the first thing I'm starting with. You will see it in a second. So there's my glitter mix and I'm just pouring into the stem of the pumpkin and a little bit aside. I'm not doing it too accurate because um, nature is also not so accurate. That's, um, yeah, I just let later on the resin do whatever it needs to do also with the glitter. So I, I sometimes like it also when it runs to the center. I think then you have a little bit of sparkle when you look at your coaster. So I guess I measure, measured just about right, so I can just, um, yeah, spread out my resin a tiny bit and that's it. And then I'm taking my clear resin and I'm just pouring around the edges. You will see it in a second. Yeah, there was something still strapped trapped into my mold it's mainly the cat hair from our baguera which is on my clothes i cannot do anything about it you know when you have a cat in the house you just have hair all over <clears throat> so like i said i'm now putting the clear resin along the edges of the mold so by the way, this is the mode from Modes and Shapes. I really love the pumpkin mode. And um, I think it's a beautiful design. Yeah, I just stopped my video or my voiceover because I shut the window because there was far too much noise from the street. So I hope it's better now for you to listen. <sighs> this is happening sometimes. So I'm sorry about the background noise, but now it should be really better. So now I'm having here my black mix with the resin ink. And like I said, it's the onyx from Octopus. And I'm just pouring it right into the center. Doing this for all the four coasters. Like so. And I just make sure that I spread them evenly. And then I'm also putting a little bit into my Batman. <laughs> I think it's a beautiful design in the center. And it's I love this with molds and shapes because they started with the heart. They had a heart and then they had this um, sort of geranium 
in the Granio mold and they just make nice designs and you can use it later um, for decoration or for a keychain ring or whatsoever. I, th I think it's very beautiful. So I'm now taking care that I get rid of the bubbles which are still trapped in the, in the edges of the mold and then a quick torch with my little torch. <laughs> So, and now I have the pearl white, just gave it a, another mix, so it's really mixed well. So I guess there are no traces of dried powder and I'm pouring this also into the center of the mold. I just fill it up almost to the, to the rim. And then the um, resin ink can, yeah, can float over the um, pearl white. This is what happening. The pearl white spreads out and the resin ink is pulling over the pearl white, if you know what I mean. And now I'm taking my silver mix. It's a metal silver. It's also from Etta Art. And I'm just pouring the silver around the edges. And this I'm also repeating for all the four coasters. By the way, um, I link Modes and Shapes, I link Etta Art and also Laura's Art Corner into my description box. Also Octopus, of course. And you find also the promo codes where I have the promo codes. And now my last coaster. And I'm really curious how the um, silver will behave. If it's um, sinking as good as the um, gold and the copper, I'm quite curious about it. So now I have a little bit left and of the clear resin and I'm mixing up a little bit of the pearl. I think it was the pearl. <laughs> yes. And I'm just pouring this on top of my little Batman because I thought this little bit of resin, clear resin, which I had left, I can still use and just make sure I pour on top. And then I also had a tiny bit of the silver, so I'm making sure that I take the silver as well and all my resin is you know being used and I wonder how this little Batman will turn out. So now I'm gonna take you down for a close up. And yeah, I'm quite curious how they gonna turn out. I will also um, let you see another try, a uh, try I did before. And I was hoping that I would um, do a little bit better than I did with that one, even though I think the crackle effect in, in the first one I did, like there, was already very amazing. But I was not really satisfied and you cannot see the silver and well, I don't know why it happened, that's why I repeated it, but we will see. And I have to apologize already because I didn't film the um, demolding, so I will be showing you the end result in a second so you can see. I hope you don't mind, but sometimes it just hap doesn't happen, you know, my camera just didn't film. So this is the final result. You can see the hint of the silver at the edges. I can only explain it with that um, the silver is not as heavy as the gold and the copper. So, but I'm very, very happy with the crackle effect and I think they still look amazing. And also with the glitter and the stem, and the steam, stem, steam, stem. <laughs> and there's a the little Batman. With this, I love and leave you and thank you for watching. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.